You can see on the PlayStation 3, it has what's known as the yellow light of death. See? So it's red. Let's try to power it on. It goes green for a second, then sort of yellow, and then blinking red. So what I'm going to try to do right now is reflow my PlayStation 3. I have some materials here. It's going to be an interesting little project. I mean, I've seen some tutorials online. That really is the problem with my PlayStation 3. But uh, uh, hopefully, indeed, it is a reflow issue. And I just bought a heat gun. I have some... Uh, Arctic Silver. See over here. Arctic Silver. Number five thermal compound. It's like 13 bucks at uh, Radio Shack. And I just got myself an HT1000 heat tool. Hell yeah, boyo. Got this old card here that I'm going to use to spread it. So. Should be an interesting project. I've already sort of taken apart my PlayStation 3 before. <clears throat> First, the really biggest pain in the ass was figuring out to get the right torque screw driver here. You can see this one is the torque one. It has, uh, has like almost like a star appearance. And that That's the area right here on the PlayStation 3. In there, you can see. Here's this kind of star. Hopefully, this uh, this project will work out good. Uh, you can see there's that star screwdriver. So good luck to me. <laughs> and let's see if I can get this PlayStation 3 working up again. Again, I wish I tried everything yesterday. Okay. Alrighty, so you can see I've already taken apart <laughs> Got all these different parts here. I kind of put all the screws here a little bit chaotic here So I'm gonna try to reflow the board or whatever the hell the fucking expression is you can see here. Those are the GPU over here and the CPU I'm gonna try to reflow it clean up all that gunk right there and uh Try to put this thing back together. <laughs> Pretty exciting. <laughs> um, I hope this works out good. You can see there's some gunk on that. So I bought the Arctic stuff. More gunk. I'll clean it off. This should be fun, I hope. Let's see what happens. But uh, pretty proud of myself that I got all the way in there. Uh, I think what I'll do is um, clean that off. I try to remind myself to get everything nice and clean, 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 clean. That's one side of the board. There's the other side. Badass, dude. Let's get a cleaning and reflowing, homie. <laughs> so let's get a cleaning and reflowing. Alrighty, so I have the timer going on the, my phone here. Another set it for 25 minutes. I figure that's a nice, happy medium. Just heated up this bad boy. It's kind of cooling down right now. I don't know if you can see the ship names. 
you can see the RSX on the left. Over there it says cell BE. Bit hard to tell, but it's there. And uh, so that's cooling down. The idea here is you're not supposed to touch this bad boy. Let it kind of settle down. Don't move it. Don't touch it. Leave it alone. Got the rubbing alcohol. Heat gun. Of course, uh, I watched the video on how to re uh, properly reflow PlayStation 3. And once again, some of the chaos that's going on here. I took apart the PlayStation 3. Let's see if it works. I don't know. Maybe this will actually work. Alrighty, so I'm finally done. Put this thing back together. All the parts <laughs> were just laid out but uh, put it back together and um, well let's power on the back here see what happens green red light well that, that was always the case let's power on the machine see what happens green light so far green light See what the television screen shows? No signal so far. Oh! <laughs> In like Flynn, baby! It works! It freaking works! I can't even believe it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable! <laughs>